Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, I hope you are doing well. It's the weekly track roundup, heck yeah, 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 I'm going to be talking about those songs that have dropped over the past week or so, whether I loved them, hated them, felt somewhere in between, they're all linked down below so you can check them out for yourself. And uh, yeah, also linked down there is our Turntable Lab link where we get kickback for stuff that you buy over there. Check it out. Also a, a link to our sponsor, continued sponsor, good people over at the Ridge still making these <laughs> sleek, minimalist, amazing wallets that fit nicely in that front pocket. I believe uh, till September 30th, any money you spend over there puts you in the running to win a freaking Ford Bronco. Uh, check it out. Link down below. Promo code MELON. For 10% off your order, too. Uh, also, our Patreon page, if you want to give us some bonus, uh, not bonus, give, <laughs> give us a little support for some bonus monthly content, you, you are certainly free to hit it up, check it out, access to our Discord community as well. And uh, yeah, the worst tracks of the week, we have a couple. We have a few. They are as follows, starting with the new Nickelback track, which has this almost like mosh pit friendly hardcore riff on the front end. But right after that, it kind of transitions pretty quickly into a San Queen. With um, Chad Kroger doing like his best. James Hetfield impersonation. It sucks. It's uh, it's trash. All right, and also, we also have this Lewis Capaldi track, which is a uh, super sentimental, boring ballad with bland production. It's just like you know, just a soulless millennial uh, dirge. I, I, I don't know. I'm really getting nothing out of it. Sorry, Lewis. Sorry. Apologies again. I know I didn't like that one of one of the last hits you had. I don't care for this one either. It's it, we're, we're just batting zero here, Louis. I apologize. All right, meh meh the tracks that i was not uh, crazy about but still thought that they were worth mentioning uh we have one from willow over here curious and furious um you know willow's been coming out with some not too bad rock tracks as of late i don't think this one's one of the best i, I think frankly on the instrumental side it's uh, a little bland chorus doesn't go as hard as some of the riffier cuts she's been dropping as of late but uh, still I, I think this foray into more of a rock style has not been a bad move thus far this is probably just the weakest of all the tracks she's been dropping as of late we also have this new one from Russ over here, which I like in terms of its song structure, its content as well. Uh, it's quite a personal track for Russ. However, uh, the auto-tune really mangles his singing, and the beat really could have used a bit of color and punch. It's a, a little underwhelming in that sense. We also have a, a new one from Run the Jewels. It is the opening theme to the uh, forthcoming Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie. They're going to be coming out with another one of those. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's... It's it's okay. It's not as good as an album cut, but it's Run the Jewel, so I suppose it's not too bad. Uh, we have a new one over here from Blood Orange, Jesus Freak Lighter. A uh, little confusing over here. I, I think, uh, uh, frankly, this is a pretty weak cut. I mean, there are some pretty vocals and guitars on this thing, but the beat is not fucking mixed at all. Um, and, you know, there's a very... Uh, I don't know, kind of a cop-out ending to the whole thing. I wish it uh, had more to it on the back end. Um, I, I think Heinz has done and can do a lot better than this, frankly. Um, we have a new one over here from Muramasa. Uh, it's got some grooves. It's got some nice, light, pretty vocals, but uh, not a lot of low end, not a lot of punch. I think the tune is there. I think the structure is there, but I really could have used some beef and some flavor, some spices, some freaking, uh, I don't know, seasonings, I, I suppose. I mean, it's a nice, you know, fusion of uh, pop music and, and, you know, dance music, but uh, it, it could have used something else. Uh, we have a new one over here from Ken Mode as well. Easily the shortest, punchiest, and most aggressive teaser to their forthcoming record. Uh, this one is Throw Your Phone in the River. The riffs are hard. The vocals are aggressive. There's not a lot about it that's uh, super memorable, but boy, does it come on fast and hit you hard. Uh, we have a new one over here from Brian Eno as well, a meditative little cut uh, from his forthcoming LP, We Let It In, is the title of this song. Uh, very, I guess, enveloping and entrancing while it's on, but not a lot to it textually that I find all that memorable. 
We have a new one over here from uh, Dry Cleaning as well. Gary Ashby vocals really could have been mixed a lot better on this one, but uh, it's not a bad post-pump cut overall. We have a new one over here from Corday and Hit Boy. Love the uh, dip set and Cameron inspired flow on this one. Love Hit Boy's production, but I think the lyrical content really could have used some work. Uh, a few struggle bars here and there on this one that I'm not all that crazy about, sadly. Uh, we have a new one over here as well from The Comet is Coming. Uh, Lucid Dreamer is this one. And uh, yeah, you know, it's some spacey, futuristic, electronic electronically tinged jazz. And um, I, I don't know, I, I think something's a little missing, honestly, like it's a little bland, structure isn't all the way there, uh, doesn't really leave a strong impression on the ending or anything. I mean, I do think the, the comment is coming as far as current day jazz groups go, are still pretty forward thinking. But, um, you know, this song, I think, could do with a little bit more planning than I, you know, this this kind of light new jazz fusion going on here. Uh, we have a new one over here from Alex G as well uh, to round this section out. Miracles. Vocals could have used a redo on this one, but overall I think it's a pretty solid tune. I do like it when Alex G approaches things with a bit more song structure. Uh, best tracks of the week, they are as follows. We have a couple of those for you. We have a new couple of tracks from a forthcoming LP, or sorry, EP from Fire Tools, uh, Soda Lake with Game Genie and Vidic software as well as wet interfacing and these two tracks are absolutely fucking insane uh, the first of the two is like this multi-phased sax ballad straight out of the 80s but then it's got all of these progressive and aggressive passages to come after that are really mind expanding and odd uh, some of the beat and groove combos on the second of the two tracks are absolutely insane too uh, just really creative forward thinking stuff from fire tools and you know given what we've heard uh, from this project thus far, what more could you expect uh, with all the crazy combinations of electronic music and metal and vaporwave and so on and so forth. So shout out to Fire Tools. All right, next we have a, uh, a new one from Mile End FCHC. Nice little uh, bit of hardcore and metalcore over here. Gang vocals, awesome riffs, tons of energy. Loving it, loving it, loving it. It's short and to the point. Uh, hits hard and uh, has a lot of guts. Uh, we have also here one from King Gizzard. Ice Five is the title of it. A long new track from their forthcoming LP. It's a jam. It's psychedelic. It's funky. It's got some soul influences as well. Uh, and they're going to be dropping three records in October. This is going to be the first of them. And uh, yeah, you know, this track is uh, sounding pretty good. It's reminding me of the teaser to their last record, but a little more short to the point, a little more eventful, liking that and uh, digging it. Uh, we have Gilliband, formerly known as Girl Band. Backwash is the name of this new track. It's noisy. It's industrial. It's got almost a Mark E. Smith, the fall vibe coming off the vocals. Uh, yeah, it's pretty hard hitting badass. And I think one of their more, uh, one of their more experimental and textured tracks uh, across their career thus far. And uh, shout out to Deerhoof on this new one over here too. Uh, My Lovely Cat is the title of this one. And um, yeah, I mean, for all intents and purposes, it's 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 your usual Deerhoof affair aside from the fact that like some of the squeaky lead melodies that kick the track off are very odd and um, very ear catching. And then the back end kind of hits this repetitive stride to where it's, it's rare that a Deerhoof song is actually hypnotizing, but the song actually kind of does become that uh, again in the second half and uh, i think that's a you know super creative outing for deer huff but uh yeah check that out as well and uh, oh yeah and, well, of course of course of course of course we have the teaser track to the forthcoming bjork album which is absolutely insane like this thing is uh, crazy. Definitely not one of her uh, easiest to digest singles, but definitely like a head scratcher in the best way from some of the industrial undertones to the reggaeton beat to uh, the very sour and unsettling and rigid uh, read harmonies uh, throughout the entire track. Her vocals are quite intense and all of the lyrics about uh, harmony and connection and unity and togetherness are quite interesting as well. Um, really a wonder, you know, what this album or sort of what this track is going to be kind of opening things up for on the rest of the record, you know, again, especially since it is uh, the song that christens uh, the whole journey of the upcoming album, but uh, very excited 
for a new Bjork LP. And, um, you know, certainly this track, uh, uh, being as odd and as obtuse in some respects as it is, like melodically speaking, um, it's, uh, it's got my uh, uh, interest peaked. But uh, yeah, those are all the tracks that I would like to uh, point you guys to this week. Weekly track roundup, another one in the can. Thank you for watching. Over here next to my head is another video that you could check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Weekly tracks uh, forever.